Hi everyone, um, I'm not quite sure what this shadow is here. We can't find out where it's coming from. We've checked everything. Not sure where it's coming from at all. But uh, So we'll just have to do, hopefully I've got it close enough. Now I'm just changing this little bird into a um, shabby sheet one. Now I understand that somebody's going on and complaining uh, and getting people kicked off. I'm using white acrylic paint. Um, of eBay because they're using the terminology shabby chic and they're supposed to have not painted the name but they've uh, marketed the name well from what my understanding is and I've been looking up paperwork all morning um, it's been around for a long long time it's the it's the look of something but you know, to explain it best I can, it is just the look of something. Shabby chic, purely is a look. The way it, like vintage, something looks old. Uh, shabby chic is the same. And um, there is a, a UK lady taking them to court, and we're waiting for the results because she also claims, or she's also using the terminology shabby chic in uh, her products. Uh, only this woman, who was originally uh, from the UK, um, looks like she's made her money, gone to America, and now has bought. She's paid for it, as far as I know, to um, market the name Shabby Chic. And you can't do that. From every report I've read, you can't do it because it's, it is so, it's, it's only a look of something, you know. This is a bag that I've made today that looks shabby chic. It's the look, that's all it is. Could be, it could look vintage, but it looks shabby chic. Do you know what I mean? So that's what they're, um, the British lady's arguing about. Um, hopefully she'll win a case, but fancy taking it to America to, you know, to get it marketed. Because in, in Britain you won't get it done. Simple as. You can patent some here so that nobody copies you, but that doesn't stop the copiers anyway. You can't mark it shabby sheet, my God. How silly. Now, I'm painting the tail. Um, I mean, there'd be millions of people you take to court if that's the case. Millions. Because a lot of people use the word and terminology shabby chic. Obviously, again, somebody just wants a pure right to something that's been around for generations. I mean, really, if that's the case, it still um, belongs to the person that first invented shabby chic. Shabby chic look. Because the shabby chic is not a thing, it is a look. The way something looks. So not actually a, a project, a product, sorry. So I hope the British lady, Flaza, and the company that's trying to, you know, money. It, all it is is down to friggin' money. Let's be honest. This woman's earning a mint selling shabby sheet work, shabby sheet furniture, and trimmings. And you can't call everything shabby chic. I'm going to paint the eyes. Um, because if, if it was an individual thing, then you could call it shabby sheet, but it is a look of something. So therefore you can't, because you can only have one thing called shabby sheet then, couldn't you? If it was just um, an item. Not the way something looks. Honest to God. If it's not bloody money we're getting ripped off by, it's somebody taking the mick. Right, I'm just drying this off. Actually, I want to see if I can 
I might be able to take those out, yes. That's fine, they're just like a pin. Make sure your children don't get hold of anything like this. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some pink paint. And I think, I'll, because I'm doing it shabby chic, I'll just use the, the one that I got the other week. Wash my brush a minute. Oops. And then I'm going to just paint it all pink. So if you've got these, um, you know, Christmas decorations or you're throwing any old ones out and they've got birds attached and that, don't throw them, halter them in your projects. Right. We can tidy that up, that looks okay to me. And uh, just dry that off, uh, wipe that off. Put that to soak and we just dry this one off. Sorry, put the lid on that first, otherwise we're not left of it. I just hold the fork there because I have to go and get something I've forgotten about. Just need my tongs. Not sure. Hang on. I think I'll get another cylinder. Right now I'm just finishing the the bird, just give it another quick dry. Okay, okay. Um and then what I'm gonna do and get the right feathers because I was gonna do it cream and I'm changed my mind. Done. I'm not doing very well. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Right. Just need to take this off as well. I, think we'll I keep going, turning around to get my drawers and I've moved them. It's really awkward. I'm just using black stays on a minute for these. I like little brads. That'll do. That's all you need to do with them. A little fussed if they're not that perfect. Like that. 
and I've been cleaning up as I've going along. I was moving everything about. Right, let's have a look. Now, because this is how you make your shabby chic birds. Okie dokie. Yeah, I'm afraid we're going to put these up your bottom. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's have a look at this. So all I'm doing, I've got a couple of larger feathers. I'm just attaching those underneath. Like that. And don't worry about that bit. In fact, what we're going to do is take that one out. Take that one out, I think. Yep. Start again. We're going to pop that one in. In there. And that one in there. You can bring them a little bit closer together. And then what I'm going to do is drop a little bit of glue just on the back bit and poke them back in and that will hold that see the difference already um, I just need to get a little bit more colour on there I hope you're seeing this. And then we pin the eye. Oops, it is it. Come on, fee. Where's my spike? And there. And pin that. I will glue them in later. That's it. So we've got that so far. Um. And then what I want to do is just to take a snip, <clears throat> like the crown of a feather. Don't waste that because that can be for a butterfly. So that's one. Find another one. Here's another. Here's another. Again, just take the ends off. And then what you do is you just run the glue over there, like that. Pull them together, just so that the bottom end of the t uh, feathers will glue together. And that will hold them in place, you see, so you do that. And then we match that up with that. Which is about there, and already you've got a shabby chic bird like that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> like that. Pull the feathers up. Now, what I would do with the tongs is then to curl these up, but um, obviously I need to go and get some more. Uh, thing for my tongs cylinder so I hope you can see that I hope you like isn't that a big difference and you can do that with any bird paint it up take the feathers out put new feathers in uh, and there you go you've got yourself a shabby chic bird thanks for watching take care I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now